Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. All righty, we expect those temperatures this evening to drop off from right now around the 80s, upper 70s and low 80s through the 70s, down to 70 degrees at 11 p.m. with 78 at 7 o'clock, 74, 9 p.m. There is a slight chance of an isolated shower this evening. We'll show you where some of those showers have popped up this afternoon in our viewing area. 68 at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, 79 at noon and 85 at 5 p.m. Very low chances of rain tomorrow. Uh, if anything pops up, it'd be very isolated. As I mentioned, we may see a spotty evening shower tonight in the weather headlines with temperatures dropping into the low 60s. After that, it looks like it'll be dry for the rest of the work week. Much warmer, well up into the 80s, even upper 80s this weekend. Could even be close to 90 for Sunday afternoon and also increasing humidity levels. So all of a sudden, summer's going to be here. You can see those temperature readings this evening hanging around 80, low 80s, dropping off through the 70s, down into the low to mid 60s here late tonight. And then we'll find high temperatures tomorrow afternoon around 84 in Troy, Springfield, 83 Urbana, Greenville, Sydney around Piqua and down here in the Dayton area looks like we'll make it up to about 85 degrees tomorrow afternoon. So pretty warm day and we'll keep that warming trend going with mid to upper 80s across the region for Friday. The Troy Stouter Center camera, uh, the clouds have been drifting from south to north today and you can see some blue sky out to the west and there have been a few spotty showers showing up, a little more cloud cover over the western part of the state. Right now, we're tracking some of those showers. Nice little shower passing through North Star, but now weakening as it moves up toward Grand Lake St. Mary's, but still a few sprinkles around the Salina area. Otherwise, most of the Miami Valley this evening looking at dry weather, although there is uh, perhaps another shower trying to get going there down around Clinton County. We'll keep an eye on that. But otherwise, most of the region tonight looking at dry weather with a more active weather to the west. We have a ridge of high pressure building in the upper levels of the atmosphere over the eastern part of the country. That means a pretty quiet weather pattern the rest of the week, but also a much warmer one. As a matter of fact, today hitting 80 degrees, 80 right now in Dayton with a southwest wind at 6 and a dew point of 57. The relative humidity stands at 45 percent. 79 Wapakoneta, 82 in Bell Fountain, but 81 in Troy, 81 Springfield, 82 Xenia and Wilmington. A little warmer in our eastern counties, a little more cloud cover with some of those isolated showers to the west keeping temperatures only in the upper 70s this afternoon. We'll see that chance for a spotty evening shower tonight. Otherwise, dry weather expected with partly cloudy skies. We'll see partly sunny conditions on Thursday. And once again, it looks like any chances of rain will be minimal. Uh, an evening shower possible tonight, a very slight chance. Otherwise, partly cloudy tonight with an overnight low temperature of 63. A south-southeast wind at 3 to 7 miles per hour. Partly sunny, warm tomorrow. Temperatures in the afternoon making it up into the middle 80s. And a wind out of the south at about 5 to 12. We'll see the temperature at 9 o'clock, 72 with 79 at noon. 83 at 3 p.m. and 84 degrees at 6 p.m. And then on Friday should make it up to about 87 with partly sunny skies. Morning lows will be in the low to mid 60s. 87 on Saturday, upper 80s on Sunday. And then finally, a cold front will start to drift a little closer to the Miami Valley from the north early next week. And that'll be close enough to bring us a chance of a shower or thunderstorm Monday through Wednesday. But the front will still stay north of us, it looks like, through at least the middle part of next week. So we'll stay on the warm side with those highs in the mid to upper 80s. Mark?